Greetings! Today we're going to step back and take a look at one of the often overlooked steps when creating parts and drawings in Autodesk Inventor, specifically document settings. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of changing document settings for both part files and drawing files in Autodesk Inventor, ensuring your products adhere to specific standards and settings. We'll be looking at how to specify units for part files and drawing files, validate that part tolerances and precision are appropriate for the units used, change part tolerances, and define the bill of material state of components. Today we're going to be looking at document settings. Now best practice states that you're going to get your document settings created and in place before you begin working, but being Autodesk Inventor, you can go in and you can change them at any time. So let's go ahead and look at how you're going to do that. First of all, on the ribbon tab, I'm going to go from the 3D model tab over here to the tools tab, and I'm going to come straight down here and I'm going to choose document settings. You'll see that it has the document settings here for our part that I'm modeling, <clears throat> and the document settings options that are available on each of these tabs will be different for the part modeling environment and the drawing environment. First of all, it'll have some standards like active lighting and that type of stuff. Um, for what I'm doing right here, these are fine. Um, I could come in and I could change my material. Right now it's set to aluminum 6061, but if I drop this down, I could change it to, you know, whatever other material might be appropriate for this. And then I could even change my uh, annotations. Right now I'm using the ANSI or excuse me, ASME millimeters, but I could change it to ASME, which would be inches or DIN or ISO. Um, I'm gonna leave it the way it is at ANSI millimeters. On the second tab here, you'll see that I could come in and I could change my units. Millimeters, of course, is the appropriate setting for this, so I'm not going to change that. Same thing with the angle. But for this object, it's a very small object. It's never gonna get measured in kilograms. So I could come in here and I could say, let's display the weight here in, or the mass in grams instead. <clears throat> On the third tab, <clears throat> you'll see that I could come in here and when I'm creating a sketch, I can change my snap spacing, I can change my line weights. Um, I think that they've got this all set up pretty good, so I'm not gonna make any changes here. On the modeling tab, there's a few things that you can do here. Um, you can say whether or not you want to uh, have adaptability used in um, assemblies and so on. Again, I don't make any changes to these. You wanna make sure, however, that when you're creating your parts, one of the things here is on the tapped hole and diameter, that you want this probably either set to minor diameter or tap drill. I usually choose minor diameter. That way, when I have a, uh, a tapped hole, it's going to list that as the minor diameter. That way, I'm not going to have a hole that's too big. <clears throat> There's also some other snap settings and that kind of stuff on here. Over here on the bill of materials, I can come in and I can change my bill of material structure. Right now, this one is set for normal. The other options would be inseparable, purchased, phantom, or reference. Uh, the only other one that's often used here is purchased. So if I had like a screw, a cap screw, which I do on this part, I would set that cap screw to purchased instead of, you know, normal. But I'm going to use the normal on this one. And then finally, on your default tolerance, uh, it's not a bad idea to have a default tolerance in here. So I could say, hey, let's use, you know, standard tolerancing. And then I could come in and I could say, what's my precision? I'll just click right here to add. And I'll say we're going to go to three places and my tolerance, um, I'm going to say 0 0.002. And then I can choose OK on that. And that makes, when I make a change there, it doesn't make any changes to existing dimensions, but any future dimensions that would be made from this point forward. That's one of the reasons why it's a good idea to get those set up. So now I really haven't changed much, but I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to switch over now to the drawing environment. You'll see here that I have an assembly drawing with a bill of materials. Um, nothing's going to change based on the, cha on the changes that I made to the part file itself. But now I can come in and I can show you how to make a few changes to the document settings for this drawing. So again, we'll go to the Tools tab. We'll come right down here to Document Settings. This time there are only four tabs to work with. <clears throat> uh, 
the first one here is your standard, uh, you know, and, and that's just going to have to do with what type of annotations you're going to be using. So if you've created any special annotation standards that you want to use, you can select them from that list here. <clears throat> On your sketch tab, again, if I'm creating a sketch in the drawing environment, it's going to allow me to make changes there. The drawing tab <clears throat> allows me to come in here and defer updates, uh, to change my cross hatching, clipping, and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, I think that they've got things fairly well set up here. You could come in and you could change how default center lines are, are set up on this tab. And then finally, on the sheet, you know, when you create a new sheet, uh, the sheet itself has this buff color that rather than bright white so if you wanted to come in and change those you could simply click here and pick whatever color you wanted it to be so if you wanted your background to be white instead of that buff color you could simply choose there and choose okay uh, sheet outlines highlights those types of things are all there i didn't make any changes so i'll just choose cancel here on this one and and that's how you're going to set up those drawing environments settings or, or uh, your document settings when you're using Autodesk Inventor.